Inspired by a love of nature, Janet Lovell Simons created masks with handmade paper and found objects and exhibited 23 of them on our walls in January. Hamletology 101 was an outstanding success. Heaven was packed and the contestants were wonderful. We even had a high school teacher from Wawanisa mail in a student's parody of Hamlet. Our judges were Pear Brask, Megan McCart, and Rick McNair. This fine story in the January 18th Winnipeg Free Press business section resulted in a very busy morning. Even the Winnipeg Sun recognized Heaven's place in the coffee shop trends and promoted an upcoming February book launch for poet Duncan Mercury. This February exhibit included many artists from southern Manitoba who had participated in workshops at a studio near Morden. There was much variety on the theme of dream realism. Hannah and Ralph Friesen had become members in heaven and chose our space for their wonderful travelogue on their time in Zimbabwe. We advertised widely. Our March art show was by Winnipeg artist and bus driver Heinrich Rempel. It was called Deer Parts and opened on the afternoon of Sunday, March 5th. That evening we were treated to readings by these fine poets. The magazine Where Winnipeg was happy to have our ad in their March-April issue. We were lucky to get the Weird Sisters as an opening act for a touring author from Michigan, Stacy Chandler, read from her book, Happily Ever After. For some time, we'd been planning a big weekend event. Our Menno Culture Fest recognized 10 years since the 1985 Missing Menno Cabaret at the Act Two restaurant. Our Friday night lineup of six women writers was emceed by Keith Louise Fulton. The Saturday evening program was emceed by Chris Kent. Folks enjoyed the Sunday afternoon FOSPA and a program that included Victor Entz introducing Sandra Bertzel, Patrick Friesen, Ralph Friesen, Sarah Clausen, John Weir, and the musical trio of Kelly Duick. Aiden Entz, and Kathleen Epp. To see a 31-minute video of some of the performances, go to Menno Culture Fest 95 on this YouTube channel. The Big Weekend was well-reviewed in the Mennonite Reporter. Our ad in an April 13th edition of the paper. Our artist for the month of April was Ray Kaler, and his show was called Spaces. The Two Davids. David Hommel was visiting and promoting his novel, Sonia and Jack. These storytellers performed that first Sunday evening in May. And Sheldon Oberman rounded out the evening with his Always Prayer Shawl. Two poets published by McClelland and Stewart. 
We had a wonderful show of landscapes by Richard Hildebrandt that May, but this critic didn't really get it. Heaven, Sunday morning, May 21st. It's a long weekend. It's a family gathering. Now for a little panorama shot of the store, which we haven't done for a long time. The prairie scene, with all its vastness and seasonal drama, are a constant source for my emotional and visual responses. Richard Hildebrand. Two watercolors along the far wall. Two acrylic paintings, two of pastels, and then the four more watercolor pastels. Coming up this week, Tuesday night, Paulette Child and Larry Cross, Wedding Generation. Tom Wayman, Karen Ritchie. And for our third night, the big solo event, Bill Richardson and Kale Cheese. So it's going to be an exciting week here, Hammond. But this whole weekend is pretty quiet. May 23rd, Ms. Giles was on tour with North Spirit. To make this a more lively reading, we asked local playwright Harry Rintoul to join the bill. The Winnipeg Sun's gossip column had no idea how busy Carol Shields really was. Our ad in the Manitoba Buy and Sell Summer Advertising Flyer. New month, new art exhibit, and reception with Pearl Bainbridge. Anne Copeland was on tour from New Brunswick, promoting her book Strange Bodies on a Stranger Shore. We got a good profile in a new small business magazine called Echelon, Summer 95 issue. Local literary magazine Zygote was back with another new issue and some live music. Sometimes relatives would drop in for a visit and enjoy our Scrabble game in heaven. On July 5th, local writer Tanya Lester gave a reading joined by Alberta novelist Darlene Barry Quaif and Quebec poet Andre Farkas. We advertised in the Winnipeg Folk Festival program. Graham Olds was an activist and an inspiration. The August art exhibit included sculptures by Brian Kells and paintings by Mark Kosatsky, who was able to get some local press for his work. Sometimes relatives would visit heaven and get their first cappuccino ever. On August 26th, we enjoyed readings by four local writers. On August 31st, Winnipeg performance artist Shauna Dempsey joined visiting writer Jill Batson.
The Corridon Street Festival took place Friday, September the 8th to Sunday, September the 10th, and Heaven helped organize street performers by some of our artistic members, including a big Saturday night book launch for Armin Weeb. One of our most regular customers and loyal supporters, Steve Lennon, brought his friends in for the evening. We advertised on the back cover of the annual Manitoba Writers Guild conference. Prairie Fire Magazine rounded out the conference weekend with a launch at Heaven. On September 19th, an activist from Toronto came through town with a talk on censorship. September 28th, Nicholas Schaefer introduced American humorist Bill Bryson and his reading about living in England was one of the funniest evenings we ever had in heaven. September 29th, we were graced by three poets from Saskatoon. On October 1st, Anne Hart opened for Di Brandt, who was launching Jerusalem Beloved. Direct from Cuba, Rafael Gonzalez brought his theater to heaven. A big night, some readings, plus a one-act play by Margaret Swetman called Full Moon, No Reservation. Saturday night, October 28th, we had two writers from Saskatoon. October 29th, a Turnstone Press event with two poets. Visiting writer Paul Quarrington was joined by Jake McDonald, on Monday night, October 30th. Sunday afternoon, November 5th, we presented a new exhibit by Alexandra Michaels of her typewriter art. That evening, we had these three readers presented by Prairie Fire magazine. November 6th, a night of big sounds. John Sampson opened for the amazing poet Bill Bissett. You can watch a separate video about the typewriter art show on this very YouTube channel. We had received this letter from legendary poet Peter Paul Van Camp, so decided to set up an event for November 23rd. December 2nd and 3rd, we focused on a limited edition print sale.
Our December art show opened Tuesday night, the 5th, with painter Brett Belcher. December the 10th, we were glad to have a book launch with Tom Schmidt. Our last launch that year, December 16th, with Jane Cahill.